Welcome everybody to round five of the Atomic World Challenge. We're still in season one and this week we're on the Azure Sky Raceway by Jack Gaming 2014. Uh, this has been a crazy week going on. We had 20 players qualify for it. We had uh, 12 players that actually made the cut for the GT class. Uh, of those, we had a couple that actually fall out because of timing issues and everything. And we actually had some connectivity issues that thought for sure it was going to take some more people out. But luckily, things already panned out. So everything is good. We're ready to go. Congratulations, Paint Zero VR, for his pole position move. So we're going to go through everybody today and introduce you to some new players. FSX Zeus was somebody that we had this week. Uh, great player, bringing out his uh, LG Retro Custom. Then we have Daddy Trump, who has moved over to his Comet Retro Custom. He's been having a lot of trouble since we started this. We really expect him to pull out uh, a new kind of push this week everybody that qualified qualified within one second of each other so we expect this to be a really competitive we already have crashes on the parade lap so and here's our fan favorite juxtry somebody who always pushes the top envelope was actually pushed it too hard with the last race and got back into um the Felter vehicle to try to slow himself down a little bit and was able to make part time. It actually took him three qualifying laps to get it. Vault Dweller, who almost didn't make it out tonight in his Masakro. Uh, great vehicle for him, really trying to move it fast. We want to welcome B Dog to the GT class. And yes, that's true. He is driving a Maibatsu Penumbra. He is possibly going to be the first person to get a sponsorship in the racing series, which we're really excited about. Uh, he and my, my Batsu are in talks right now, so we'll see how that works out. Here is Ricky Bobby in his coquette. Agent Ranger, again, is trying to get his point score back up. He's still in his Comet Retro. He's doing a great job, but it's going to take some time for him to build a score and get some, some good point standings with it. Everybody knows Chewy. Chewy's in a felter this week, and he is doing great. And then, of course, our host, Sneaky Giraffe, who is in a common retro this week. So, let's see where the standings are right now. So we still got patient zero up on the first lap here. He was actually really doing well with, uh, with his speed for the week. So, we'll see how much he can pull out that, that time. Agent Ranger coming in with a strong second place. He is typically very fast in this car, and we expect to be competitive. Now, this track is a little bit different than what you're probably used to because it has little slowdown points here. So if people go on the inside lines or try to get too crazy with their, their ride, they're going to end up getting slowed down, which is going to play out interestingly in the long run. We expect the race to be really tight uh, especially with the times, like I said, everybody qualified within one second of each other. And and it's, it's like I said, we're expecting a barn burner here. So let's see how this, this plays out here early. You can always see a Chewy is coming up on Agent. Looks like Patience getting some good distance up front. Let's look at the lap times right now. So we got a 59 seconds. 59 was the par time. Sneaky Giraffe pulling out the uh, best lap for this race so far. We're seeing the same kind of times here as we expected in the the actual initial racing you can see real b dog with that 103 is a nice time for a for a penumbra and chewy's rolling down there and who is that up with him i'm gonna guess that's gonna be juxtry no it's sneaky and there's oh there's there we go so we can go over to daddy trump let's see how he's doing again somebody who's really oh and see like i said he hits those slow down points things get choked up and he drops back where's he drop back to fifth position a little bumping and rubbing from zeus there a little crash going on and there's sneaky oh 
big crash. That is not the way he wants to start off his race tonight. And if you'll remember back from uh, the second season, the second round of racing, that was something that took Trump completely out of the the runnings for the race at the time. It was unfortunate. But that's the breaks for, for some of these races, just getting in the wrong place at the wrong time. Trump has also had some problems with uh, the cars that he's had. The cars just haven't been running up to speed for him, and that's hurt him a lot. In fact, he's had a couple of DNFs through the due to the season. It's not been not been the season that he needs, even though he is part timing very well on speed. So, so he needs to pick those things up and get them rolling to be competitive. So we're roll, we're rolling with Chewy right now. We're gonna see how he floats this out a little bit. Patient Zero's just got a good strong 15. Oh, into the wall again. That's this track is playing havoc with people right now. And it doesn't look like anybody's too far ahead. So let's roll over to Sneaky real quick and see how that race is looking up front. Uh, in the wall. Once again, Agent, is this something that's been plaguing Agent? Is some of those just unfortunate moves that, that's been made that really just kind of hurt him. Sneaky's wide, wide, wide into the, the slowdown barriers. Yep, he got popped. Chewie takes a chunk out of his back end, and they're going to go full speed. I think that's kind of what's helping out Valti. Oh, Chewie got the slowdown, too. Daddy Trump takes takes into his, his bumper. We're going to take a look at where Juxy's at. See if he's got any kind of space on, on our leader here. Patient Zero still pulling in that top spot. Let's see where he is on the track. Patient Zero was a new uh, recruit to the running. He came with us last week. Did very well in his first race out. It was very competitive. Raced this week, I believe, and was having some problems again finding his part time in the race. Now he's pulled back with Feltzer and is doing pretty well with where he's at right now. And you can see he's got some pacing. So let's pull over to Juxtry real quick, see how he's doing. He's not too far behind. But he's got a lot of making up to do. So let's see what we got for lap times here. Juxtry's pulled in a 57 second lap. That is a prof profound lap. We got a 57 from Sneaky. We got a 58 from Agent. So these guys have moved up their lap times from when they did it before. And there's a 59. Remember the part time was 59 seconds. So let's drop back to this and see where we're, we're playing with again. Who's in third? That'll be Agent. So let's go over to Agent real quick. He's been able to move back into the third position, get a strong positional run. And that's one thing about Agent. Agent started off as our point standings leader early on in the racing and was prone to really pull some solid lap times out. And he was doing very well for the time of the tracks that we had at the time. Unfortunately, Agent had some some other things that happened, so he was unable to attempt to to qualify or even run in some of the later races. So that kind of played out against him, <clears throat> unfortunately. But he's trying to move this back up. He's done fairly well with the races he's done before. He's a strong racer, so we're expecting to see a little bit more from him. Juxtry is continuing to pull ahead. Okay, where do we get? Oh, Juxtry with a 56 second lap. Let's go back and check out Sneaky. Sneaky's a very, again, a very solid racer. We expect great things from him as well. Uh, one thing that we do want to give our credit for is that this race is actually run by Sneaky Giraffe. 
the great thing that Sneaky did this week because obviously not everybody can make it to every race and the host can make it to every race. Um, he wanted to say that he took himself out of the point standing for the season, so he wanted to have at least the point leaders to be able to have their access to getting points and being able to have a chance to win the championship because they, you know what I mean, it's a more solid way of running things. And we respect him for that. It was really cool of him. Uh, and, he, and he was obviously a points leader because of being able to attend every event because he was running it. I uh, also want to thank uh, all the guys in Most Wanted who are officiating this event, making sure that it's fun, directed towards good and fair play. And again, my name is VIP Primo, and, and I'm the host of every, every Saturday at 10 p.m. we get to run this event. And uh, the televised version comes up on YouTube. Oh, into the wall again, Chewy. Let's get his car is not looking any worse for wear. But this broadcast is going to be broadcast every Sunday at noon to show you this kind of racing, which is just fun racing. Uh, it's Atomic World Challenge. If you know Atomic at all, oh, Ricky Bobby's in the wall and looks like he is down for the count. So if you guys know Atomic, Atomic is actually the wheel manufacturer for the cars in Los Santos. It's a favorite of Los Santos Customs to run them. And it is the vehicle, the tires of choice for many of the drivers that are on the track today. So if you see any kind of customized wheels on it, that's where you're going to see them at. Looks like Drexia is caught up to Vault Dweller. They're running hard. Okay, looks like these guys up front are having their, their competition. Let's see back. Let's go back to Sneaky and go back. Let's go back to Agent Ranger again. He's got his hands full of Sneaky. This is a battle for third and fourth. Comet Retro Custom versus Spectre Custom. These cars are very fast cars, very well rounded. It's one of the reasons we like seeing them on the track a lot because they are very well rounded and they race really well. See those slow down tracks definitely took some took some pops at everybody this race, so that's gonna be something that people have to look look out for as they go around the track. It looks like B Dog has already had problems with his my bot, so unfortunately. Let's see where Vault Dweller is. He just got passed. We haven't seen FS Zeus today, so I'm going to go over, check him real quick, see where he's at in the, the running, see how he's doing for his lap. FS Zeus did his first qualifying run this week. Really love the way his LG Retro Custom is set up. It looks awesome. The LTD brand. Running a sponsorship and getting things going. Hardcore turn. Oh, and that's the other thing. I don't know if anybody's known about the, the player Geezer that we have. He's He's been a regular, but I don't believe he's actually played anything with the Atomic Series. He's one of the one of the good races. I had to slow down and see if it catches you. So Geezer was uh, on the pole tonight and was all ready to go. And unfortunately, he had last-second urgency that pulled him away from playing. And it's unfortunate for that. We're hoping to see him back. He's... He is one of the strong competitors in our World Championship Series, which is a little different than the way we're seeing this now. Uh, this came in as the Pro Series and the GT Series. The Pro Series is a super class event, which happens earlier in the day. And that's for players who are really just too fast to even, even put on the track. So those guys really have a, a big time about how they, they roll together. And it's a lot more competitive. It's a lot faster. And so we put those guys in the super class. And they they do really well up there. And then for the part-time guys, which is the GT guys, those are guys that, I mean, 
everybody in this group qualified one second off from each other and you have to qualify with those times to to be competitive it looks like patient zero is really just trying to run consistent laps throughout the track and that's what's keeping him ahead right now i've i've noticed that juxture was having some problems with the slowdown positions and doing a little wall bump in there let's see how his car looks right now yes yeah, so you can see the damage that he's taken hard into the wall a couple of times he's still gaining on patient zero though he may be able to pull this back and make something out of it but slapping against that wall is not going to pay off for him in the long run in patient's just going to be consistent and if that consistency continues that's going to pay off for him in in big time and i mean we can look to get an idea of what we're talking about here let's look at the lap times here i mean Patience pulling in a 57 second lap. Juxtry's pulling in a 56. These part time guys went 59. So, as you can see, we're seeing drops in speed as they get more accustomed to the track and get faster and faster. So, that 50 second lap time is actually pretty much on par for where we're seeing for everybody. And then we get your 250 seconds with sneaky and zero. That's just ability wise. Agent going to 58s. And then we drop down to Chewy with the 59 and Vault Dweller with the 102. The 102s that we're seeing from those two guys are actually close to their part times. So they're actually getting faster as they as they move along here. So, so let's go over to who do we have left here? This is the battle for first and second. That's got some. Let's go over to Agent and see how his battle is going with Sneaky. You can tell he wants to pull this in for this time, and Sneaky's not making it easy for him. And, it, and it's something that I would expect from him, too. He's a solid racer. We can see good lines from him. And Agent does really well with the Spectre. That's a great, it's a great thing to find out if he's going to be able to catch him. So who do we want to follow next? I think we're going to go back up to that first second race real quick. Let's see where they're going. He's still got some space to go before pulling in patient. I just want to say it's there, but patient is being, I mean, he's, he's living up to his name of being patient and being thorough about his run. Just keeping it clean. Is that time going to be enough to pull what he needs in to get patient on on the run around and there's some lap traffic up front with patient lap traffic in the corners definitely play a key role in it so he's gone around that pretty easily let's go over to juxture again because he's obviously going to come up on it see how he deals with ricky bobby and the coquette Looks like Ricky's taking up a lot of road space. They, they, they smack. Wow. That's not what Juxtry needed to take out that first place of section. In rear-ending Ricky Bobby. And Ricky's, Ricky's damaged. So I'm hearing that he has an 8.8 .8 second lead right now. So I don't know if he's going to be able to make this up. They're they're just that's that's power moves right there. And that's the thing is he could still make a mistake. This isn't over until it's over. 
You can see Sneaky's already made some distance on Agent. It looks like people are st really starting to jockey for the positions that they're going to be in. Sneaky's trying to do some solid runs. You can see a little bit of damage on his car, but for the most part, his car is intact. And that's really the trick to racing good solid runs and getting in leads is just run it. Yeah, he hits, hits the slowdowns. <laughs> see what I'm saying? It really gets you. And that's the thing is, is if you're going to make it to the end of these races, you have to be able to race clean. You have to be able to race consistently. It's really something you have to pay attention to. And that's, as you can see, Juxtry is, has, is very fast in his car, but with the damage that he has on his car, it's very difficult for him to catch up and get into the... get into the top speeds. So we, hear, we heard that Daddy Trump has a spin out. Let's see where Daddy Trump is. Juxtry's already reporting that he's having some problems with his with his car. Here's Chewy. Chewy's here. Chewy's two laps down. Again, once again, he's even though he gets his part time, he's having a very tough time translating it over to actual track speed as people pull ahead and, and get things going it, it's tough to really tell where those problems are going to come into play it could be just they need to roll back and get some more experience on the track that that really can play a bit and juxture for you to slow down again these slowdowns really just take their toll on it and Patient is missing them, and if he's not hitting them, then he's not having any problems. Let's go over to Patient. Okay, so patient zero is actually on lap 23 of 30 laps right now. And he seems to be running a really, really clean race today. As you can see, he's just hitting his spots, going from place to place. Not a lot of damage on the car, so he's been able to keep himself clean. And that's the way you're going you're gonna to be running. And that's really just showing that you know the skill we're gonna stick with with um patient here for a lap see how he runs through this see this see the smoothness of it coming up again on lap traffic it looks like vault dweller up here and that still is a race between first and second he's gonna have to pay attention to his driving line get himself in through the traffic and clear out That'll put that'll put Vault Dweller two laps, two or three laps down. Again, as you can see this, this is this is classic GT racing. Very smooth drive. Very good through the turns. Easing in off of it. Right here, there's probably some people who are going to say, hey, drive out a little bit farther and get a little bit more speed. But does that get you to the end of 30 laps? And that's going to be tough to call. And any driving condition you're going to do is going to be some sort of risk involved in it, whether you do that fast speed or you do the slow speed or how you pace through it. And that's the thing is, is based on time differences, how's that going to play out down the road? What risks are you taking versus what things you can actually do? I 
how far is Jugtree behind? He's got some. He's got some. Some time. There he is over in the corner. So he's he's got some distance to go. We're gonna go back real quick here to Agent Ranger. See where he's he's sitting at when it comes to sneaky. Still behind him. Looks like the field has really made some distance between each other. So let's take let's check out Sneaky real quick to see where he's at. Just coming around the start finish line right now. So he's got some space between him and Agent. This is how our standings are going right now. So let's look at the lap times again. Patient Zero with the 57. Juxtry with his 56. Sneaky with a 57. He's going to be hard-pressed to move up with him. Even with that high-end lap, he would have to remain really consistent with it. Agent with the 58, 58. Zeus pulling off a 57 in his LG Retro. That car really had a lot of power at the end of it. So yeah, as you can see with Zeus, that, that LG Retro Custom was a really solid car to run on this track. It did really well for, for testing. It ended up being very part-time oriented, even though it was very strong in the corners. What ended up happening was is it was able to develop power throughout the race, which was really good for its driving style. And when I did the test runs with it myself, I, I found it was, it was a fun car to drive and it became very popular for that reason. Funny enough of how the Comets really came in after the fact and really ran with this. Let's see if Trump wants to take him. There's the inside line. Couldn't, couldn't make it happen. Oh, there we go. So can that see that's where that the elegy retro will power out of the turn while the comet kind of stutters around the turn a little bit. He does have a little bit more top end speed than Zeus. Is he gonna be able to make it happen? We're on the 29th lap right now, so we're going to go right over to Patient Zero. This is going to be a 30-lap race to make it 30 minutes. He's coming up on Vault Dweller again for lap traffic. Coming up on lap and Daddy Trump, too. Which you'll be seeing. So we're coming back up on the battle between Daddy Trump and Zeus, but Zeus seems to have pulled it away. Costing the top spot. So this is going to be the last lap. We're in the white flag lap right now. We're going to follow Zeus around. Let's look at the times real quick as we do. Here's patient, juxtry, sneaky. Solid 56, 57 laps. Everything, as you can see, is close together until we get to bound to Rock Ricky Bottom with the Coquette and the Masacro of Vault. Unfortunately, Real B Dog uh, had some problems with this. My Batsu today was unable to translate. Juxtry really felt like he was going to get it, and he got some space here. We got Ricky Bobby in the way here, Vault Dwellers in the way. Some of this live track is really going to play into slowing him down for the end. So we're going to follow up over here to patient zero as he crosses the line. And 
this is it right down to the end right back as we run into a little bit of more daddy trump lap traffic there's the finish line we want to congratulations patient zero patient zero finish it finish it And there we go. Patient in first, Juxtry in second. Oh, and another slowdown from Zeus. We will have some DNFs from this from the end of this race, unfortunately. A little bit of premature celebrations in here too. go as we put down the edge so there are following standings for the azure race we want to congratulate our winner patient zero for pulling that through that was an amazing race it was really fun to watch let's go over the standings again for this round five of our first season of the atomic world challenge Thanks for watching the show. Patient Zero wins. Juxtry second with the best pole, with best lap. S Sneaky coming in. Agent Zeus, Daddy Trump, Chewy, Vault Dweller, Rippy. Unfortunately for Real B Dog with the penumbra breakdown today, we expect it better from the future. Thanks for watching. We guys will see you next week.